Uh, so I'm going to call you to order the June 16th Ordinance Committee meeting. And Councilor O'Donnell's here, Council Carney's here, and I'm here. So there's the roll. We're all here. Uh, I'm going to announce audio and video recording of the meeting in addition to notes. I am going to note uh, for public comment, there is no public in the room, so there is no public to comment tonight. Um, so our first order of business, uh, we don't even have minutes on this one, um, is a new appointment of Diane, is it Solder? I'm reading it off my phone. Uh, Diane Solder. Solder of 241 Jackson Street to uh, Council on Aging, a term from April 2014 till April 2017, replacing Mary Smith. And, Councilor, did you interview I, her? I, yeah, I talked to her on the phone. I found her to be very qualified. She's a good candidate. You want to move her as a I, yeah, I, I know Diane's, I believe it's Solar, okay. by the way. Diane Solar, yeah, uh, Solar. Uh, Are you comfortable with her? I'm very comfortable. And I am as well. Yeah. So, all in favor of Diane Solar to join, a positive recommendation to Council, of course. Aye. Aye? Aye. Aye? Good. All right. Um, the next appointment is an important one, Christine Bissell uh, of Goshen to the position of City Treasurer. She was uh, recommended by the Mayor to that position. And uh, she, she was here last at our at our last meeting to um, to be interviewed, but because of a posting issue, we couldn't actually vote on her. But Councilor O'Donnell and I were here and interviewed her, and she was the assistant treasurer with uh, Mr. Zimmerman for a while. And then she went to be Palmer to be the treasurer, collector of Palmer, sort of moving up, and now she has an opportunity to come back to Northampton. So, so I would move a positive recommendation. I'll second that. Are you comfortable with anything? Anything else? Um, any other issues with Christine Bissell? Or are we ready to move on? I'm fully confident. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good. Then we'll send a positive recommendation on Christine to uh, to council on Thursday. Uh, let's see. Now we have some reappointments to the council on aging, and uh, I spoke to the director there about all three of these reappointments, and she said they're all good and participating members and she would like them to be reappointed and um, if you could read their names I'll move them as a group sure let me find that because I'm really having a hard time reading the names because they're they're very very small but uh, here they are on, I'm, I'm, if you I'm want to read them off the paper copy because so I'll move them. as a group Micah Hearn John Kaczynski Catherine Pacala Service and uh, and that and those, just those three. Just those. We just did yeah, we just did the other one. So second on that. Sir. And as I said, I spoke to the, the director of council on aging. She said they're all good members, and I do know them, and I can concur with her that they are good members. So yes. should we vote on them? All in favor of a positive recommendation? Aye. Aye. Okay. So that's our appointments for tonight. Um, the next is an ordinance with regards to handicapped parking spaces on, spaces on Henshaw Avenue. That was referred by council on June 5th, and it's it came from transportation parking, and Councilor Donald chairs that. So I'm going to let him tell us about that. One. So sure. we want the this is simply a, yep. um, uh, handicapped parking space was established a few years ago. Um, I think upon recommendation of Councilor Specter, and I believe it's simply no longer needed. Um, the resident is is moving out. So this so, is the removal of a. Uh, correct. It's deleting that one space yep. that was put in for a handicapped resident. Exactly. So it makes sense to me. The Transition Parking Commission uh, recommends it. So it opens uh, the space up to yeah. to yeah. right. And that's a residential street. So exactly. there's not many coming and going. Any questions on that one? Mm -hmm. That sounds that makes sense to me. Yeah. All right. Do you second? I second it. All right. Any more discussion on this one? All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, and actually, we'll let you go right down the list of them here, because the they come from your committee. The next one is uh, on Massasoit Street. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, again, parking prohibited. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a change that um, uh, obviously reduces the number of spaces that we're parking is prohibited, uh, creating more parking on, on Massasoit. Right. And w which end is this at? Is this on the YMCA end? Or? This is towards the YMCA end, yep. Uh, and both of these these ordinances that we're about to consider have to do with traffic around the YMCA. Or traffic around the YMCA. Uh, facilitating that. All right. And this got a positive recommendation from the Transportation Parking. 
Any questions on this one? No. You moved. Uh, and you yep, so moved a second? I'll uh, second that. All right. Any more discussion on this one? All in favor? Aye. 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 Very good. And then the last one, oh, the last one that also came from your committee, um, is parking prohibited at all times on Prospect Street. Exactly. Okay. And this is um, this is similar. This this adds another parking space on uh, or two on parking on Prospect Street. And uh, right near the YMCA where the intersection oh, okay. of Massasoit is. So, uh, and there's there's a lot of uh, congestion around there. So. Exactly. So it made sense to me. It made sense to our commission. Uh, I would move positive recommendation. Any questions or a second? I'll second that. No questions. No questions. All right. All in favor of sending this one forward with a positive recommendation? Aye. 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 Good. All right. And the last one we have is an ordinance that um, I don't know whether you've seen it or not, but this one, it's under the section on compression braking, but it really is a prohibition of heavy vehicles on a couple of different not streets. Quite a bit about this. And this one, so this one, um, was this one? Also from transportation. So it came up through transportation parking, so then it go back there. So they, they bought into that. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'll, if I'll move it, and, and unless it's already been moved. Uh, I haven't moved it. Then I'll go ahead and move this. Okay. So okay. thank you. I second. All right. Any other discussion on this one? Are you clear on what it does? I am. Yeah, you are. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. The only question I had about it is, and, and I remember this from from the last discussion on the compression braking thing. This one isn't really compression braking, it's prohibiting vehicles, but it's in that section. Exactly. Right. Is I know the chief always has an issue when an ordinance says that his officers shall do something mm -hmm. because it's they always have a matter of discretion. Mm -hmm. You know, they have they certainly have the authority to ticket somebody, but I don't think most of the state statutes require them to do it simply say you know they can do it if it's appropriate but they didn't say they shall do it right. well i think they're subject to a permit exactly they shall be subject to a permit in fact the chief brought this up <clears throat> in the commission what reminded me was i saw the yeah. first shall is may yeah. and well, which sounded like something the chief would have yeah, we made <laughs> yeah. Friendly maybe you should have right. uh, yeah. I, I view is actually in um, Increasing the options since it's currently not illegal. To so they it. shall be subject to a fine, but it's the fact that it's they may be subject to a warning and they shall be subject, but they may be issued a warning. They may be issued a warning. And then they shall be subject to a fine, but being subject to a fine just means subject still, to the I think, it still yes. allows for discussion. That's right. All right. Well, as long as, long as it doesn't have any problem with it, because chief, I know the, the there are times there are times when the you know when the when at their option they could choose not to issue it and exactly. I think that's that's what he's always concerned about is preservation of the officer's right on the scene to decide is it appropriate to cite the person or not because uh, it's ultimately their call. Full disclosure, the chief was the only member of the commission to vote against it <laughs> after we adopted his, his amendment, which surprised me, but mm -hmm. just full right. disclosure, he voted against it. So. All right. Mm -hmm. So, um, Shall we, uh, for that reason, that you described? Yeah, yeah, because he always wants it to be up to his guys on the scene to find, make the final call. Do I side him or don't I side him based on the circumstances? I think it does. So. I think it still does. Does it preserve that in your opinion? Yeah. Uh, okay. I would think so. I mean, okay. okay. Motion on the floor is Oh, no, no, and I'm very happy to send it to council with that understanding. The rest of the group can decide whether they want to amend it. So, okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Good. And I think, even though my phone's gone back into protection mode, I think that was it for our agenda, was it not? I think it was. We did uh, we did our appointments. We did Diane. We did Mike, John, and Catherine to Council on Aging. We did Christine as treasurer. We moved the one, two, three parking issues, and we did the engine braking. And there is no new business that I'm aware of. And I'll move to adjourn. Oh, let's so oh, I, I just I just wanted to point out though that that um, at our last meeting we discussed the FFR ordinance. But that's was, still in the public hearing, right? Right, but that we w wanted to send it to ordinance, but it had already been there, so. It was Ed Lou, was it? We yes. To? We want to yes. send it to Ed Lou, but it's already been to Ed Lou. It has, and okay. you got a positive rec recommendation on May sixth. Mm -hmm. But oh. it's st it, but it's still tied up in that public it is. hearing, isn't it? Well,
Okay. But well, you guys can continue. Well, actually, no, that if that's the only thing, that's, then, that's yeah. why we're not doing it, is it's still tied up in the public hearing okay. with the other zoning issues. Okay. Just so. Just a quick clarification. Uh, we, we referred a housing ordinance to the housing That's what we did. All right. Would you make your motion to adjourn as you fade away? So moved. Second. All right. And are we good with you now? Yes. All right. All in favor? Aye. All right. Thank Aye. you.